何それ<笑>あガディーンはーいよりよりニッコニッコニー This is your Hello guys and gals Welcome back and this is your host Urza7 and today we're gonna do an unboxing of a blu-ray I got from the mailbox from from right stuff for Sentai then again it took forever to ship because you know they're pretty slow but they don't charge taxes and their pre-orders are pretty decent so let's get straight to opening it and it's the anime series Amagi Brilliant Park I've heard great stories about this anime made by the creators of Full Metal Panic I've heard and uh I heard it's a great comedy anime. I heard good stories about it. It's the limited edition Blu-ray. Encourages the Sentai film works. Limited edition right here, as they say. <coughs> and uh, let's see where. Yep, it's on the front cover. We got the awesome waifu, epic plot waifu, known as Sento or Z Isuzu. The plot waifu looks just like Kotori and and Konami Chinori combined. Yep, the, the photo bomb girl from Love from Rabu Rai Sunshine. On the bottom right, on the bottom left, you got you got the Bontakun homage, teddy bear that pays homage to Bontakun, also known as Mofi. Yep, Mofi. And the bottom right is Sosuke 2.0, or known as Seiya. And they're stumbling upon the park, apparently. Front side. Sides. And the back. You got. You got Seiya from the from the far behind. Uh, I think who is this? Yeah, in the front you got the waifu Latifa. She's basically Tessa 2.0. And of course you got the various essentials. You got the Master Quality Blu-ray on the far left. In the middle we got the Peasant Approved DVD version. In the middle we got the booklet and stamps, and the rest of the goodies. Inside the far right, last but not least. So the first disc you got on the Blu-ray got Mofi on the peasant version, you got Macaron. And on the right you got Tira Mie, as I heard, and I think I might have some good laughs watching this show. Seeing as how this show pays homage to Full Metal Panic. <coughs> which is one of the best mecha animes ever made. So I wonder if I can get straight to unboxing this. Shall we? Do do do, Daijobu. Just brush, just brush my teeth. God, the fluoride probably poisoning me death right now. Of course. And on the bottom, we got we got Master Quality Blu-ray in 1080p, H.264 encoding. With, Jap with English, with Japanese DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 and English subtitles. The way it's meant to be watched, and curse just like all Sentai films, stabilize. And curse the Tokyo Broadcasting Station. Apparently, the show that airs this. So let's get straight to unboxing this now.
And this is limited edition, right? It was apparently cheaper than buying the regular version. <coughs> so, first up, this is the Blu-ray case of Amagi Brilliant Park. And the blue master quality Blu-ray. And first up we got Isuzu Plot Waifu on the left. In the middle we got Seiya. And right, last but not least, we got Latifa and Master Quality Blu-ray. Limited edition. So and on the back, we got the disc that designates each episode. We got episodes 10, 11, and 12, 13, OVA on disc 2, with special features, extra magic opening, why? <coughs> Not that it really matters. Ah, discs start falling out. Hmm, that was weird interruptions. So, opening up the disc. So from the first part of the Blu-ray, we got disc one of a Magi Brilliant Park in Master Quality Blu-ray with a Suzu waifu in front cover, disc one, you know, episodes one to nine, with Seiya at the at the bottom right. And next up, last but not least, we got a Magi Brilliant Park Master Quality Blu-ray disc two. Episodes 10 to 14 that includes the OVA and got all these other waifu characters. I can't remember their names. One of them's Kobori, I believe, on the far left. On the right, we got Salama. On the top, we got. What's her face? Hmm. Uh, it might be Sliffy or Latifa, I can't remember which one. Oh well, I'll figure them out. When I watch this anime. Oh well. So on the back with a limited edition we got artwork. This is kinda amazing. For a Sentai Filmworks Blu-ray. So Let's turn around. Mm -hmm. This is the cover of the Blu-ray disc. So y'all can see. On the top left we got Seiya. On the right we got the uh, we got the gray hair girl. She looks like Taysa, I think. I don't know her name. I haven't watched the show yet. In the middle, we got Princess Latifa. On the right, we got on the top right, we got got what waifu is Suzu, and on the right, we got uh, can't remember her face. Sliffy, yeah, Sliffy. And the bottom, we got we got Salama and the orange hair girl. And all the cast and crew of high school of Magi Brilliant Park. And in the very middle we got Bonta Kun look alike. Also known as um Mofi. So and as always with any artwork of any Blu-ray disc, we flip it over and we replace it. On on the far we, we replace it with the superior artwork, as always. It's master quality, that's why body limited edition. Well, that's probably the reason why, and all the goodies of it. So, this is the Blu ray. Let's get that out of the way. The rest. <coughs> and here we have it. And next up. 
we got the the peasant approved DVD version of Moggy Brilliant Park of awesome artwork featuring on the top left top right we got Sliffy the waifu Sliffy on the top left we got the waifu Kobori she looks like that girl from uh, what's that anime I forget the name Non Non Biori. She looks like that girl from Non Non Biori, the waifu. And on the bottom right, we got Muse. I think that's her name. And the bottom left, last but not least, is Salama, the orange hair waifu, the red headed waifu. So, and the back, it represents three discs of DV that the peasant approved version. Which I'm not going to bother watching because you already got the master quality Blu-ray. And this is Peasant Approved 1840i MPG2 Japanese Dolby Digital 2.0 of English subtitles on 3 disc. <coughs> and, uh, and of course, first things first. We got the peasant approved DVD version of Amagi Brilliant Park Disc 1, episodes 1 to 4. With with Latifa on the bottom right and Seiya on the top right. No, Latifa on the bottom left and Seiya on the top right. Alright, next up. We got. This two of the peasant approved DVD version of Amagi Brilliant Park. Top on the top we got Mofi. On the bottom left we got Makaron. And the last but not least, on the bottom right we got Tiramie. They pay homage to Full Metal Panic. As you can see. And last but not least, we got the peasant approved DVD version of Amagi Brilliant Park, Disc 3, episodes 10 to 14. And as as we all know, on the top and left, we got Asuzu, the waifu. You know, we got the protagonist Seiya. And on the right, we got Lati we got Latifa. Yep, get a waifu. The less than dog waifu. And as all as all discs, DVDs, and Blu-rays, we flip over for the superior artwork if it has any. Usually Sentai doesn't, but with limited editions. We can, and we will. <coughs> and of course, we will. So, and of course, we got the we got all these other waifus. We got one of the park members, I think, in the middle. I can't remember her. Uh, some of these are the other characters. So. And on the right, we got the waifu Salama. And she got red glowy eyes. Do the camera's light reflection. In the middle, we got. I can't remember her face. Uh. I forget. I can always check, but. So in the middle we got Bino, that's her name. That's what I was informed of. They're all hosting the park, the theme park. And last but not least, on the top left, we got Aiko. Or Aiko. Depending on how you pronounce her name. And that's the DVD artwork for the Peasant Approved version in DVD. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. <coughs> Next up. We got the Amagi Brilliant Park booklet. It's made in China. And this is the uh, this is essentially the visual another creator visual fan book Amagi Brilliant Park. And we got our waifus, we got the teddy bear, we got Latif on the left. On the right, we got hmm, a Suzu. Yuri waifus. And making out together. I think those are drugs, I think. 
Uh, painkillers. I, I can't remember. Oxycon. I don't know what they are. But they're probably getting high on drugs while making out. It's wearing a queen's bow tie. And they're on a bed together. How how lovely. How adorable. Moggy Brilliant Park, page one, visual fan book, limited edition. We got contents. Number four, Yuka Nakajima, page four. Page five is Akinosora. Page six is Alpha. Number seven is IG Usas Usasuka. Uh, number eight is Okama. Number nine is Ryuya Kamino. Number ten we got Karori. Wait, number eleven we got Masahiro Clay. Age 12, we got Shiki Doji. Age 13, we got Shinsaku Tamose. Age 14, we got Masuda. Page 15, we got S S Suyuha Minazuki. I guess these are all the art artists as we draw things. They're fan arts. Whatever. Page 16, we got. Ryosuke Yasui, page 17, we got Hagure Yuki, and page 18, we got Rago no Erika, Remember page 19, we got Alpha, page 20, we got Aiji Usasuka, page 21, we got Okama, page 22, we got Ryuya Kamino, We've got Masuda, 98. 24, we've got Yu Mizuhara. Page 15, we got Suyuha Minazuki. Page 26, we've got Mu Muya. Number 27, we got Rago no Erika. So let's see what the contents are. What they draw. So, first up, we got the uh, the front cover artwork, the number one illustrator, Yuka Nakajima, of Latifa and Isuzu. Yeah, next up. We got page two, we got on the right, on the top right, I think it's, uh, what's her face? Muse. On the right we got Suzu. On the middle we got Latifa. Illustrated by Akino Sora. More epic plots. Alright. Alright guys, we got Next page, we got the recordings. A bit of what's her face again? I can't remember these people. That's why I have to watch the show. Sliffy, I think the wife was Sliffy. We got Bontecoon at the bottom, illustrated by Alpha, at the Amagi Brilliant Theme Park, advertising the sale of Blu-rays and DVDs. We got our and next up, we got our Curl Neko look-alike. And this is illustrated by A.G. Usuka. A.G. Usasuka. And this character is Aiko, I think. That yeah, probably is Aiko, I suppose. Not so well endowed in this picture, I guess. Eh, oh well.
And next up, we got Plot Waifu Isuzu, illustrated by Okama, summoning a rifle, or a breech loading musket, I can't remember. Yeah. And next up, we also got the epic plot waifu showing her plot and underneath her skirt hiding her hiding a shotgun or or decorated rifle underneath drawn by illustrated by Ryuya Kamino all right continuing off continuing off where we left off all right, so let's change the page. Uh, page. We got page ten, illustrated by Kaori. We got, we got epic waifu Isuzu with our silver rifle. Yep, behind, in front of the Ferris wheel. A little more moe-ish. And next up. We got Epic Waifu, got Epic Plot Waifu, the Suzu again, and taking a bath, naked in her bathtub, where fruits as shampoo, as shampoo smell, I think. Yeah, shampoo, uh, fruit flavored shampoo. Illustrated by Masahiro Clay on page 11. And next up, we got Latifa, Waifu Latifa, the lolly waifu, I think, illustrated by Shiga Doji, sitting beside the window, the window of the high school, as I was told. And next up, we got more plot waifu, Asuzu, carrying her silver rifle, or musket, or whatever, I forget. Yeah, it is a musket, I think. Illustrated by Shinsaku Tomose, page 13. So, next up on page 14. Illustrated by Matsuda98. We got more lolly waifu. Not so well indulged, I think. Or legal lolly waifu. Latifa. In her white dress. In front of all the stuffy animals. The stuffed mascots of Magi Park. Focus, focus. And then got balloons. And next up, we got the lovers. Epic Plot Lovers. You got know, Epic Plot Lovers, a Suzu, and Latifa in front of the castle. And they are couples together. And Latifa is carrying the silver musket of a Suzu. And bottom here we got the mascots. Mofi on the middle. We got Macron on the right, and on the left, not last but not least, we got Tiramie on page 15, of course. <coughs> Next up, we got Epic White Plot Wife Fuwasuzu with her, with her wardrobe popping outwards. Exposing the plot, and we got Bontakun seeing you, or Mofi observing, and on page 16, illustrated by Ryosuke Yasui. Uh, focus? Oh, well, whatever. And next up.
Got a more epic plot waifu. We got a Suzu taking her bath in the bathhouse. Illustrated by Agura Yuki on page 17. Yep. Behind the curtains. <coughs> Wait, next up we got more couples. We got Isuzu and Latifa together in front of the Ferris wheel. In their formal uniforms. And with her silver rifle. Silver musket by the side, illustrated by Rogho no Erica. Some more fan art. Next up, we got page 19, written made by Alpha. We got Epic Plot Waifu, Asuzo again, holding the plush doll Latifa. We got Salama on the bottom right with a smartphone. On the bottom left, we got. Uh, I can't remember her name. Is that forget her name? We have the gray hair girl on the bottom left. Uh, what the hell's her name? I forget. Oh well. I suppose it's Muse, I think. And last but not least, on the bottom right. We got the Kuro Neko look-alike. Aiko, yeah, Aiko, plush doll. And she just came out of the swimming pool, of course. Washing herself up. And next up, we got more. We got more of that other waifu. And we got Muse, Muse, I think her name is. She looks like Tessa. Taste of Full Metal Panic in her swimsuit next to the swimming pool. Illustrated by Eiji Usasuka on page 20. I don't know if the camera can focus, but uh, not too good with letters and text, right? And next up, we got the cast crew of all the white foods. On the right, on the top left, we got Sliffy. In the middle, we got Salama. Salama. On the right, we got Muse. In the middle, we got Aiko. I think the lolly wife, the Kuroneko looking waifu. Her panties exposed. Epic plot, I guess. And they're all fairies get her in Fairyland of Amagi Brilliant Park. With bone cocoons underneath and all the plush mascots. Uh, Sliffy looks like looks like Leafa from Sword Art Online. From this pose, I suppose, almost looks like her. <coughs> and next up, we got more epic plot waifu with Suzu, drawing more detail and more mature, and with her silver musket sliding in between her. Drawn by Ryuya Kamino on page 22 of the art book. Hmm. And next up, you got Captain Suzu, plot waifu, or silver musket again, as a bodacious space pirate, or a Moretsu space pirate. And then we got, I don't know if it's Sliffy or no, it's Latifa, yeah. Latifa holding Bontacoon. I believe. Then we got Makaron doing a handstand on top of a, of a watermelon. As the plot indicates. And with what's his face? Tiramie on the bottom on the bottom left. Dancing to a cherries drawn by, my, by Matsuda98 on page 23. Hmm. So 
So next up. <coughs> and next up we got the waifu. Another waifu. What's her face again? The teacher waifu, I think, or secretary waifu. And her glasses with green eyes and blonde hair. What's her? And I forget her name. Uh, it's Ash. Ashy. I think she's a foreigner. Probably some French lady. Assuming that's how they're drawn. Yep. Carrying her pen, laying down on the couch. Drawn by you, Mizuhara, page 24. Ah, camera doesn't focus too well with letters. And next up, we got more, I think. We got more Latifa in the dojo, in the temple. Or the hotel, I think, the Hot Spring Hotel, carrying those those cheerleader. What do you call them? I can't remember. Uh, the cheerleader gloves and her swimsuit. Yep, the legal lolly, I think. Drawn by Suyuha Minazuki. Don't loot the lolly, they say. <laughs> Next up. We got pl epic plot waifu, as Suzu, in the in the bathtub with her towel on. Doesn't make sense why she has her towel on. Her feet up. Yep, foot fetish. Drawn by Mutya on page twenty-six. On. I'll, I'll questionably staring at you, curious to what you're doing in the bathroom. And next up, <coughs> we've got the other waifus. On the top left, we got we got Sliffy. We got Sliffy on the top left. On the bottom, on the bottom left, we got Kobori, the other waifu. Hasn't been mentioned much till now. In the middle, we got Salama, the redheaded. On the right, we got Muse, the silver here waifu, who's just like Tessa from Full Metal Panic. Made by the same creators of the show. Illustrated by Rago no Erica. And that's page 27. And last but not least, we got the ending and the credits of the Magi Brilliant Park, another creator visual fan book. We got all the other creditors, planning by Toyoki Tanaka, editing, Isonori Numano, publishing, Tor Torano Noana Incorporated, presented by Sentai Films, and courtesy of all the other English Americanized producers, licensors of Sentai and Tokyo Broadcasting Station, and this is not for sale. Alrighty, it's all copyrighted. So. And that's then there's of course next up <coughs> next up we got more next up we got more limited goodies from the limited edition of Magi Brilliant Park. So this is the box containing all the goodies, all the valuable treasure of a Magi Brilliant Park, or the souvenirs I suppose. You got the Ferris wheel, the main prize of the amusement park. You got Seiya in the middle, you know, approaching the park during during sunset. And this side of a Magi Brilliant Park. Sentai. And this is the front cover of a Magi Brilliant Park again. Alright. We get the cast. Got the cast of a Magi Brilliant Park all huddled together. The 
pay their tributes. Not all the balloons of the mascots. So of course we got the three protagonists. We've got the waifu Isuzu on the right, and Latifa on the left, Bontakun in the middle left, and uh, we got the um, Macron on the middle right, and on the right we got we got Tiramie. In the middle we got the main character Seiya. And all the other rest of the cast, the other waifus and crew members. We got Ashi in the in the middle, and on the bottom we got Yuz. Middle we got Salama, the redhead. On the right we got Sliffy. We got all these other characters we won't know until we until I watch the show. Which I won't find out till much later on. And on the right is that a giant dragon statue? I can't remember. And the rest is just a Moggy Brilliant Park. All paying their tributes. Alrighty, let's get down straight to it. Let's see what goodies assets these things have. All right, all right, all right, all right. First things first. We got the Amagi Brilliant Part souvenir pins of a Mofi on the left, Bontakun. Bottom, we got we got Mocker, then we got Tiramie, and the and the last but not least, but not least on the right, we got Makaron. There's the Sentai with the Ferris wheel. Yes, and these are these are pin ties, which I won't be need to uh, unopen the plastic. Next up, we got another push pin up the Amagi Brilliant Park cast. Theme park cast. And this is the souvenir. Moggy Brilliant Park. And where was I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah though. So we got the Amagi Brilliant Park. We got the gold coin of Amagi Brilliant Park. It's an epic souvenir. Of the show in the middle we got the um we got the Bontakun Mofi. This is a coin that I use for the amusement park rides. And of course let's keep going. And of course we got the uh the Magi Brilliant Park map. So let's open it up shall we? It's the interactive dice game board game which I will open up and this features everything of the game and this is a simple play paper board game and of course All players must stop here, huh? Oh no. Salama's Twitter is spammed by trolls. Unfortunate. Oh my god. And this is a board game. You go around a Magi Brilliant Park and you reach the goal to the castle where you rescue the princess. And this is an interactive dice game. See, it's you can unscroll it and unravel it. Ah, oh, I dropped my stuff. Let's put that away aside. Next up, we got a Magi Berlin Park stickers of of the mascots Mofi, 
Tiramie and Macaron and their coins respectively. Fumofu. Welcome to the wonderful world. Alright. That's that's one part. Next up, we got more Moggy Brilliant stickers. Of the various mascots again. The lanterns. With the fire lanterns. <coughs> and next up we got more epic plot stickers of waifus Asuzu, Latifa, mascots, her silver musket, and the protagonist Seiya. Alright. And next up we got more scrolls or sacred scrolls of the various characters name in the hiragana or moon speak so the magi brilliant and you have various symbols like a castle symbolizing a magi brilliant park water symbolizing muse and uh, fire symbolizing salama clover symbolizing kobori and uh, wind symbolizing sliffy Got Ponta Coons, the beer symbolizing Mofi. And, and, and of course, you got the cat symbolizing Tira. Tirami, I think. Tirami, I think. And last but not least, in the middle blue, we got the uh, macaron and the blue sheep. Alright. <laughs> Next up, of course. We got more stickers symbolizing our waifu uh, Latifa, I think, is it? Latifa. We got Bodacious Space Pirate Isuzu on the right. And they're all in there. And all having fun together. Featuring various episodes of the show. Screen caps, I think. Alright. Focus camera. Huh. Camera doesn't focus well. Whatever. We got more. And next up, we got the Amagi Brilliant Park theme park stamps. Postage stamps. And courtesy of all the characters. Numbering from 1 to 20. Of all your favorite characters. Ones that we haven't seen yet, well, ones that I haven't seen yet, I don't know about you, but I will get to them. I'll get to know them when I watch this show, if I rip the Blu-rays and watch it in English. Yep, straight up again. <coughs> and next up we got more. We got welcoming stickers of balloons to a Magi Brilliant Park of bike and courtesy of Bontakun or Mofi. Awesome. This is pretty d intricate. Alright. Alright guys, next up. Next up guys, we got a booklet. Also known as the Amagi Brilliant Park Guidebook. Welcome to the Wonderful World, number one. And courtesy of Mofi, also known as Bontacoon 2.0 mascot. So, what is this stuff? And... And of course... We start off with guidebook number one, courtesy of Mofi. We got Mofi's favorite fap selection. Number one.
featuring various scenes in the show, which I have not watched yet. God, this thing doesn't focus very well. What? Of course, we got more staff members of the show featuring the characters. Main character of the Seiyus and their voice actors. And then we got more of these. Fumo, Fumo, Latifa. We got Bontecoon, the mascot, stepping up to a Magi really Park. Mofi. All right, let's keep going at it. Of course. There's never enough time for anything. Right. As they say, Damagi Brilliant Park stamp card. It's probably one of the largest limited edition boxings I've ever done. Perseus Sentai. God. And this is the overall map of Amagi Brilliant Park. Got Mofi Sweet House, we got the Throat Coaster. On the left we got the Maple Castle. A lot of these are spoilers which I have not I will not be familiar with until I watch this show. As always. Alright. Got the first one down. Alright. Next up, we got guide two, guidebook number two, Persia Tiramie. And of course, Fumo, 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 Fumo. All right, Fumo, Fumo. I gotta move the camera a bit to get a better viewing angle. Ah, oh, shit. Careful not to fall over. Ugh. So. Right up to Amagi Brown Park. Alright. 
We got the cast. Got the supporting characters featuring their respective various CUs. And you know, got Sliffy. Can't even see this. Holy God. Featuring Tomoyo Kurosawa. You got Kabori. Hime Waifu. And you got Salama the Redhead. And of course, they're very Seiyus. Minami Tanak, Minami Suda. So far. Maggie Brilliant Park stamp card. You got Mofi. For the various scenes. God damn it, focus this camera. Yeah. Whatever. And whatever. <coughs> not enough. This is number four. Not enough secretary confidence, I think. Jesus Christ. This thing doesn't show up. I think I'll get back to that later. You got more areas of the Amagi Brilliant theme park. Much greater detail. Showing more areas. Much more emphasize. This is the Flower Adventure. Elementario. Macarons Music Theater. And of course you got the parking lots. I don't know if the focus is good enough. Whatever. I just have to put this back together. Let's see how it goes with the stamp card. This is their fab selection of macarons and Ki Tiramie's fab selection, I guess. Hey, now it works. All right.
That part's already done. Do do do, Daijobu. All right, let's continue on even more. Next up, we got. Next up, guys, we got guidebook number three by Tira Mie. All right, let's open it up, shall we? So I do it. This, I do it the easier way. Got Mofi's Fab Selection again. This time in green. God damn it, this thing won't... Ugh. Fucking shit. Oh well. And we got not enough money, as this thing would say. Oh, I can't even focus. What the hell? Booby Trap Filled Dungeon has mercy on us. So now you can see the text much more clearly. Uh, and this is, Mo this is another Mophie's Fap collection. Because we really don't have enough money. Well, not enough staff. Number six. Under short staff. Just like any workplace, they purposely do that. We don't have enough money. As always. And of course on the back we got the stamp books as usual. Day number six. And of course. I gotta find a better way to present this in a more efficient manner. We got the mascots. Doesn't, doesn't have any preference for women, but we got their various voice actors, saves. And so forth. Alrighty guys, let's see what the back of the map is. And they emphasize more of a Magi Brilliant theme park. Alright, so let's put it down. Start scanning the map. That planet dinosaur, we got Tomb Ranger within the Amagi Brilliant Park. Feature within the anime, which I have not watched yet. We got the employee housing, that's where they all sleep and use and they work. Eh, never knew what life was like working at Six Flags or something. Never really did. And then and of course I wouldn't really know, but that's about it for number three, guidebook number three by Tiramie. So let's next up let's go on to book number four. Isn't this funny? Alright, so Amagi Brilliant Park, book number four. Welcome to the wonderful world.
All right, book number seven, not enough pool safety. And we got the Moretsu Space Pirates. And Makarons and Tiramis Fap Selection again. Of a Suzu and Kabori Waifu. Number eight, not enough love appeal. So let's see what the cast is all about. These are uh, the various characters and their voice acting seiyus. Of course. Got the various characters as well and mascots with their voice actors crediting their voice actors again it's one of the largest unboxings I've ever done and of course We'll move straight to the back of, as always, each one of these guidebooks have a map. What a brilliant map. We got the Blue Ocean Pool area. And we gotta save the environment, as they say. Because, you know, you, gotta, you can't pollute the place. You gotta recycle properly, just like in Japan you would. And we've got the mascot giant Ferris wheel. Emphasized. Alright. Let's go. And, of course, last but not least, we got the back. It's the, it's the stamp card. Featuring day number eight. So the 12 days at Amagi Brilliant Park, or the 12 episodes, featuring each day, in courtesy of Mofi or Bontakun. So that's about it for number four. So let's move on to number five. All right, guys and gals, let's move up again. We got number five, in courtesy of Makaron. Color coded in orange or yellow. So, what this guidebook says. <laughs> uh. Focus. Oh, it's gonna take a while for this camera to refocus. Hmm. Not enough teamwork. No one's working together. According to Mofi's FAP selection, again. Yeah, Latifa looks like that priest girl from Goblin Slayer. Almost does. She kind of does. You got Boat Takoon drinking himself to death.
And number 10, there's nothing that can be done. I don't know. I may not agree or disagree. Let's see more of the... The staff of Magi Brilliant Park. We got, we got the various voice actors. Arubam, Taramo. That's what their name. Dornell. We got Okoro. Got a wrench coon. That's a that's a good that's a very creative name. Got Codane. Got Wanapi. The alligator coon. All right, we got various. And of course, we shall get straight to what is emphasized here. We got Rubrum's Chamber Trials, Chamber Secrets, Maple Kitchen, Maple Castle, and more of a Magi Brilliant Park. As, a, as always. And last but not least, as always, we got stamps featuring episodes 9 and 10, or days 9 and 10 of 12, of two weeks of a Magi Brilliant theme park, courtesy of Macarons guidebook. All right, that's about it for number five. There's number six. This is the guidebook number six, in courtesy of Tira Mie. All right, all right, guys and gals. And it's more of Mophie's Fab Selection. And of course we got number 11. There's nothing to worry about now. Episode 11, day 11 I think. And not only that. Uh, more of that as well. Which I have not seen yet. Number 12, episode 12, day 12. Nobody knows what the future holds. I really don't either. I can't predict the economy in five years. And anyone who says that's full shit, so let's keep going. And of course. We got more of the various epic plot waifu Suzu's uniforms. Got our winter uniform. We got our summer uniform. As always. That's what we see as the iconic. We got our high school summer uniform. This is more of this is more of both Beast Fab collection. We got our bodacious space pirate outfit, and we got our casual clothes. This is how she goes for interviews. She looks all grown up. Fumo, 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 Fu. Business attire. Casuals. We got Latifah's. More of her nurse outfit. We got the nurse outfit. Just like the priestess from Goblin Slayer. We got the lolly swimming attire. As well. Interesting. 
camera works very well. So what's up again? So let's see what they have. What else do they feature in a Moggy Brilliant theme park? All right. That's Space Captain. Focus. Focus, focus. Eh. Yes, we've got the entrance to the theme park. Yes, the normie world, as they say. Is that a focus? We're at the space captain area. So, I'll probably do it this way. We got the entrance to the theme park. We got the fisherman's drive. Or fisherman's dive, I think. Don't know why it's not focusing well. Space Captain, fisherman's dive, an entrance. Can't really get a good focus on this. Oh well, whatever. And as always, we got the episodes 11 and 12, days 11 and 12 in the story. S stamp card featuring everything that went on. Alright, so focus is a little bit painful. And, uh, and uh, there'll still be more left on. Alright, guys, gals. There's a little more to go. One last booklet, guidebook. Welcome to the wonderful world of Maggie, Maggie Brilliant Park special book. Or SP. Of three mascots. Featuring Bontacoon in the middle. So let's feature this one. This is the OVA. Huh. Hmm, takes a little bit of time to focus. This is Mophie's, Macarons, and Tiramie's Fap Selection on the OVA number 13 specials. Letters aren't focusing well enough. Kind of strange. And I agree, it's not a good promo for episode 13. How is this camera focusing badly? No pun intended. Now it focuses. It takes forever. This webcam does not work too good. More fap scenes, more epic plot scenes. Business is really is war. Fumo. 
FOMO, FOMO. Alright. And number 14, no time to take it easy, of course. Just like anything in life. It's never easy. Focus, damn it, focus. Focus, focus. The last scene, god damn it. We got the various other staff, supporting staffs of the show. Voice by their respective voice actors. Ah, uh, this thing's not focusing. Let's see if we can do so here. Really? You gotta be kidding me. It's terrible. What the fuck? Hold correctly. Stay put. Now it does. We get the various characters. And the various voice actors again. We got more other supporting characters. Kindergartners. Huh, I haven't seen them before. More elementary school kids. And the koala bear. Various koala mascots with Fumofu or Bontakun. get a little more to that. <laughs> and as always, you can always flip this over. It takes a little while to get used to. At the, at the Hotel Alamo. Remember the Alamo, as they say it.
happened with the bar savage? Yep, the savage bar. Near the train station. Fucking focus already. Jesus Christ. Fucking Christ. This is why I prefer using the iPhone. Or whatever. Now it focuses. This is Hotel Alamo. Remember the Alamo. And last but not least, we got the coffee cup on a roller coaster. Interesting. I did not. Huh, drinking coffee on a roller coaster. That's a rather pleasant thing to hear, to experience. So, and last but not least, I've always had the stamp cards. Of a Moggy Brilliant Park. So, let's start. But that's not the last one, of course. Last but not least, we got the Moggy Brilliant Park Certificate of Authenticity. On behalf of Moggy Burley Park staff, thank you for supporting our efforts to give you the most magical experience we can. You are the key to our survival. Yep, let's support Sentai and Moggy Brilliant. What are creators? Tokyo Broadcasting Station, I can't remember. Or is it Kiyoani? Yeah, I think it's Kiyoani that does this. This certificate verifies the authenticity of the company Amagi Brilliant Park Limited Edition. The number below verifies the unique number in a limited series of releases. This document further attests that no unnumbered copies of this existence of this edition are in existence. Uh. And you are the visitor number three one two eight, three thousand one hundred twenty eight. I'm the th I'm the three thousand one hundred twenty eight buyer of this limited edition, huh? This is the most difficult unboxing ever done so far of any anime. Focus, damn it! Focus. As you can see, that's what it is. There's nothing on the back, as always, except for some gold stains, but whatever. So let's unwrap these things back together. All right. So guys and gals, this is your host, Urza7. I, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video today for Moggy Brilliant Park. Of a Moggy Brilliant Park anime, limited edition Blu-rays. And uh and of course, though, signing off. And I hope you have a happy, happy. Ah, fuck it. Hope you have a great day, guys. Your host, Urza7. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Catch you later. See ya. Bye bye now. Do-do-do!